Hello, folks, students and professionals. Let's welcome back and let's discuss batch management in S4HANA. There is no much specific change when you compared with uh, your ECC system, but still, we will try to discuss. Some students will be there directly. They are looking for batch management in S4HANA itself in future. Okay. What exactly batch? For example, if you take okay any chemical industry, okay, or else food industry, okay, these are the two best examples, okay. Uh, so, or else you can able to take pharma, okay, pharma industry. So, for example, you, you are uh, making uh, one medicine uh, like, you know, rosin. So, this is, uh, they are manufacturing, uh, so, suppose they are going to manufacture uh, on different dates, okay. So, for example, every month or else every day or else every quarter, they are doing manufacturing. For example, they are making like, you know, Mm. So, thousand times each one will call it as uh, each day will call it as one batch. Okay. So, what it contains your batch. Okay. Basically, batch it contains mm, one second. B-A-T-C-H. Batch it contains one is MFG date, manufacturing date, and GR date, the date when you are receiving the goods to the stock and uh, your expiry date okay your medicines will have expiry date and uh, you will have a different dates and you will have something called uh, shelf life okay so all these things will be there for example today you manufacture today is uh, 2710 uh, that is called 2024 today you manufacture one batch like that maybe tomorrow you're going to manufacture one more batch okay so assume that each one is having the validity of uh, uh, like exactly two years each batch is going to expire your medicine is going to expire within two years so from 27 to two years it's almost comes like somewhere like expiry will comes like uh, so like you know 26 somewhere here so again this batch will come somewhere like 28.10.2026, okay? So it is going to expire within two years. Like that, suppose you manufacture coming six months on different days, different batches. It is very difficult to track which batch is going to expire. When customer put an order, for example, a dealer or distributor um, from pharma, so he would like to pick the goods, okay? So when he try to raise a sales order for this company so this is manufactured by a different company so okay uh Ramaxi is as an example so uh so 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 they put an order or else some pharma okay okay here some pharma or else CIPLA. okay i'm just giving an example it is very very difficult to track them so okay government norms will be there you should not sell the expired goods so Shelf life also will be there, like you know, apart from expiry date, uh, before expiry date only, suppose if shelf life is less than you have to, you know, return the goods or demolish or something like that, you have to do it. Anyhow, whatever it may be the case, when I put my sales order for batch material, okay, so it need to check which based on uh, these parameters, this will call it as a characteristics in technically, so we define it based on that. What my class is going to do, which batch is going to expire that stock I want it. Okay. For example, you have the last three years stock. Okay. So you will have different scenarios in MM. So this is a combination of your material management and sales and distribution and your inventory management uh, and PP, a lot of integration will be there. Okay. Don't get into that. We'll try to break it down what we require for sales and distribution okay so now you got it so this is uh as i said that this is first batch and this is second batch like that you know among the which one which batch is going to available that we have to check it first thing is that what is our target we have to check which batch material is going to 
determine in sales order that is our target we have to do it okay we have to we have to do couple of mm configurations also for to check the expiry date or shelf life or something like that that is secondary first target in batch management okay in sg we're going to do the batch activation okay how the batch will be activated okay we'll test everything on the system i'll show you the configuration this is available in logistics general okay so we're going to pick some batches you can able to understand this go to spro simply reference img so let's come here this is the place where logistics general why this is kept in logistics general because it is common for certain modules need to get utilized okay so if you come down here this is the batch management okay so look at this batch master batch uh, number assignment and the batch determination and check actually so what is this batch master okay so what is this batch number so if you would like to um, maintain number ranges you can able to do it for okay for example if you'd like to activate internal number range for goods received okay for your plant you have to check this one and second one is activate batch number assignment okay batch it is going to if if you if you supposed to generate auto um, numbers then you have to activate this so this is the key important setting okay so your batch numbers you can able to define and you can able to assign it okay for example if you see this okay someone has created these uh, two batches see this is internal batch number basically and we are going to use this standard there is no point to define okay let's come here okay so this is this is the key important configuration we have already seen uh, in our sd in ecc if you are not from sd just follow this what are the steps so for batch determination, we will follow the condition technique. Now we have other things, which combination I would like to determine my batch. The first step is condition table. Okay, here if you look at this batch, you can able to do it for inventory management, production order, process order, sales and distribution, and warehouse. Okay, inventory is nothing but your MM related. Okay, let's try to define one table. So here create change and display will be there. Same condition technique, what you have followed in pricing and the metal determination, and the listing and exclusion, or any other things for that matter. So I'll just uh, define this table, triple six, okay? So if you want, you can able to use existing tables also, okay? These tables are already available. If you want specific combination, your bass need to be determined that you can able to play with the system, okay? So maybe I'll do that. Mm. my batch determination uh, i'll take uh, sales document type okay so and uh, i'll specifically point out certain uh, uh, plant uh, i'm taking the material this is my combination let's see this if it is not working you can able to check other thing also okay So let's save this one in local object. Actually, your condition tables will be saved in workbench. So you can able to see this KOTH triple six. Okay. We'll check that one. Let me make it noted down what exactly it is. Object. So this is the table we have created. So now let's go to the second step. Same condition technique. To determine the batch okay you can able to use existing thing also if you want inventory side you can able to define one more okay uh, create a condition table for batch determination if you want you can able to do it here also this is already used if you want you can able to define i'm not going to do anything i'm outside let's come to the access sequence first okay so okay this is quite simple. So the, all these are the standard. If you look at this, okay. So it is not maintained. It is simple thing. Go to the new entries, okay. So maybe like uh, D D D zero one, okay. That just for D or D S minus, okay. 
So let's do this. Let's select this. And you have to choose your table. Okay. So my table is triple six. Just enter. Press enter again. Select this. Just do the field activation. Okay. So if you get any error, it, it will show red or something like that. Now everything is okay. So we have to save this one. Okay. Come back. So next, uh, you try to go for strategy type. Like how we have condition type in pricing and other condition technique where we have utilized. This is called strategy type. You can able to define your own strategy type uh, for inventory management and sales and distribution. If you want, you can able to define it or copy it. So, so for example, this, this First, let me try to finish the ST settings. Okay, so let's just do so. So here, few few standard ones. This is D01, 2 till 5, all the standard ones. If you want, you can able to copy the existing one or else you can able to define your own. Okay, so what should I do here? Uh, I'll take this one. Okay, for our thing. So let's copy this. So maybe DD01 I have given and my access sequence also DD01. Okay. So this generally for SD side, you, you all would like to determine you don't require any other things, or else maybe I do it for based on cell like. I'm just doing this determination. So for example, if you see this, your batch can be so like you know first in first out so this is first coming and this is first should be out but not only this based on your expiry date or gr rate or manufacturing data shelf life also you can able to determine the batch according to the sequence that will be handled by your sort sequence actually basically if you see this this is the sort sequence so this is the standard one he has given if you want you can able to define your own one and you can able to maintain here so let me so so like a variant configuration you have a class okay what class you have hmm? so variant configuration you have a 300 class in the similar way for batches also you have a class called 023 okay this is uh, frequently we are using okay class uh, uh, class class is containing at least minimum one characteristic like, you know, for example, if you define characteristics like, you know, storage location or else material, at least one, uh, what I would say, uh, at least one uh, characteristic should be assigned to the class type. Class is basically holding the uh, characteristics. Okay. So this class type is where you are going to utilize this. Is it in batch or variance? That is all about. Okay. Okay, you have something called selection type will be there by default. Selection without no selection criteria, then you have to go for this. Immediate selection according to the selection criteria, then it is blank. Okay, so these settings at the time of creating condition record automatically will be get copied. I will show you that one. Okay, this is sort sequence. As of now, I'm just keeping these two as a standard. We can able to use it. And how many batch splits? Okay, for example, uh, for example, so for example, you have a batch one, okay? It is having 100 stock and you have a something called batch two. This is another 200 stock and uh, you have a batch three. This is another 100 stock. So at the time of batch determination from system, okay? So like uh, how many splits it can able to happen? For example, so you have given a sales orders, okay? with 250 stock, okay, 250 stocks, and you said that mm -hmm. batch splits maximum allowed will be like only two. So if you say that, so this 250 then first it will take first 100 from first batch, okay. So remaining 150 it is required, then it is taken from uh, remaining 150 from here, okay. In this similar example, if we try to extend it for 400 stock, so it is taking for first batch from 100, no problem. And it will check anyone I can able to balance remaining 300 
So, but uh, you so but only two hundred is available. So, criteria maximum it is supposed to give. Then it will hit the three hundred. Only three hundred only confirm. It will not go for uh, another batch. And uh, automatic it is fine. But when it comes to manual, so you cannot able to define. You can able to control how many maximum how many batches you can able to take from the stock actually. Okay. So this is for this is this talks about your batch split. Okay, during the batch split, if you required any changes allowed, this one. Okay, for example, sales order is 100, but in uh, delivery time, you come to know that we required 150. So that, you know, if changes allowed only, you can able to do it. So if you'd like to increase the quantity, then you have to take this over delivery. Okay, so there is something called a quantity proposal. Okay, we have... Uh, display and stock keep unit the stock which unit it is maintained uh the display in the unit of entry of the document for example sales order sales unit will be there so it is has a priority if you maintain stock keeping unit and sales unit generally it will determine the sales unit okay sales unit if you'd like to maintain uh, batches then you can able to use this one it depends on the scenario most of the times it will be maintained in real time also Mm, uh, at the time of entry has a priority or else you can able to take stock keep, keep, keeping unit if stock is maintained in a cages and uh, uh, order is also in cages then you can able to choose it but if stock is maintained in uh, cages but your order is in tons then you have to go for b actually that is the basic difference okay so this is standards so we'll try to check uh, this one let's save this first okay so simple, we have taken the combination of the condition table, maintain an access sequence, and uh, we have defined one condition type for batch determination. And uh, let's try to put it in procedure. Like how you put it in, what do you call that? Pricing procedure in the similar way, we have also procedure. Go for this one. D, 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 so let's save this. Let it get saved. So it is for text file. 